Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with TechOut. Today we're going to be checking out my custom ROM that I've installed on my Google Pixel 3. Um, and I am doing a Google Pixel 3 30 day challenge. So I am leaving my SIM card in this device for 30 days consecutively to see how I like it and see if I can get used to using Android and stuff like that. So this is the Pixel 3 30 day challenge. This is my custom ROM that I'm running and some of the customizations that I've done to my Pixel 3. Um, so first things first, this is the AOSIP ROM. Um, it just came out last month for the Pixel 3. So AOSIP, it is Android Open Source um, Illusion Project. Um, so it's using the Android Open Source stuff. And this is pretty much just like the Pixel ROM, um, other than you get a few features that you don't normally get with the um, with the stock software, such as um, all this stuff right here under the Owl's Nest is. Um, specific to this ROM, so you can do status bar customizations, quick settings, um, notification customization, navigation customization. As you can see here, I don't have the pixel um, pill down there, which kind of got annoying after a while, um, especially when you're on the home screen and you want to swipe up to your um, app drawer. You would have to do like a swipe and then you would get the app switcher and then you would do a long swipe and you would get the app drawer. Kind of got annoying after a while, so now I can just swipe up on the home screen um, and get the app drawer. And then I have my regular home button right here, which pulls up a search if you hit the home button. But you can customize that as well. Um, so you have all the Owl's Nest customizations in here, gestures, lock screen, um, stuff like that. Um, I do have a custom always on display. I don't have the always on display on right now, but that's what it would look like. It is the Samsung style. It's actually called Sammy um, Clock. And you have the battery percentage down there on the bottom. Also, when you are charging, it shows the, um, the rate at which it's charging, not just the the time and the percentage but the actual milliamp hours and the voltage that it's charging at so that is pretty cool another thing we get with battery is if you go into the battery here you get the battery temperature you can do that in celsius and fahrenheit um, so you can see your battery temperature in there and monitor that um, while you're charging and stuff like that there's also a feature in here called smart pixels which if you enable that it actually cuts some of the pixels off being an oled display um, the pixels are lighted individually so there's no backlight so you can actually choose um, a percentage of pixels to turn off from 12 to 88. Um, it does look kind of weird when you do this because you're not getting the full brightness or the full color um, range of the regular OLED. But it does, um, if you need it in a pinch, save some battery life. Overall, the ROM is running really smoothly. Um, it almost seems a little bit faster than the regular Pixel ROM. Um, the battery life is about the same. Um, not a lot of usage time for me today as I haven't been home, but the battery on life yesterday was good. And other than that, I haven't had any issues with battery life. Um, this right here is the dark AF mode. So it doesn't do like the, the bluish dark. It does full dark um, screen, you know, pixels off. So it saves you a little bit of battery there. It does that in the, um, in the settings and stuff like that. It doesn't do it in the messages or anything like that. But I am using a... Um, Texture, I'm using the Texture app, so it does do the black theme as well, which is really nice. Um, I am running Nova Launcher, so I don't have the Pixel search bar, which does get annoying. Also, I don't like that. Um, so using Nova Launcher, so it's fully customized. Um, and like I said, this is the AOSIP um, ROM. Um, and those are some of the features you get with it. Um, like I said, I showed you right here on the Owl's Nest, all those are custom features. I'm not going to go into full detail, but this is my custom Pixel 3 with the custom ROM and stuff like that. This has been Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.